Newcastle United fans partied into the evening as thousands gathered outside their St James Park Stadium to toast the £305 million Saudi takeover of the club. Fans have called for the end of the Mike Ashley era for years and confirmation arrived shortly after 5. 15 p.m. on Thursday that his 14-year association as owner of Newcastle was over. When news broke that the takeover, which is backed by Saudi's public investment fund, had been ratified by the Premier League, fans were seen leaping into each other's arms, throwing drinks into the air, dancing and singing club anthems. Fans young and old came together to be present outside the Milburn stand as they eagerly awaited media confirmation that a new era was underway. Amanda Stavely, chief executive officer of PCP Capital Partners and a 10% stakeholder in the club following the takeover, was all smiles and jesmond as she was congratulated by supporters. Her husband, Merdad Godusi, was seen hugging fans when the news broke with one telling him this is the best thing to happen in the club's history. Legendary Newcastle striker Alan Shearer led the celebrations on social media. He tweeted, Yes. We can dare to hope again Newcastle defender Isaac Hayden added, Exciting times for the club and the city of Newcastle. Enjoy your cans hashtag NUFC fans. The Newcastle United Supporters Trust, which has vocally campaigned against the Ashley regime, said a resounding 96.7% of its members wanted the Saudi consortium to take control. In an open letter posted to Twitter, the NUST said for the first time in many years Newcastle fans felt the new owners could help them realize their full potential. The open letter read, for the first time in many years we believe our desire for an ambitious Newcastle United that strives to be the best it can be can be a reality under your ownership. We admire your desire and tenacity to buy our football club despite the protracted issues with the Premier League, and we appreciate your clear understanding of the special place that Newcastle United holds in our communities, the passion of our supporters and your commitment to developing Newcastle United. The letter continued, we look forward to learning more details of your plans for Newcastle United and I can assure you that our members will welcome you to Newcastle United. The Saudi takeover means Newcastle now boasts the richest owners in football, with a reported worth of £320 billion. But not all were celebrating and heralding news of the takeover. Match of the day host Gary Lineker tweeted, Football fans want their clubs to succeed, but at what price? The dilemma facing at NUFC supporters. The approval of the takeover will lead to criticism of the Premier League by human rights groups, especially as Prince Mohammed bin Salman, who leads the PIF, was named by U.S. intelligence services as signing off on the murder of journalist Jamal Khashoggi in 2018. It is likely the league will attempt to sidestep such questions by insisting that the PIF-led consortium, and not the state, are the owners of the club. A statement from the new owners read, an investment group led by the Public Investment Fund PIF, and also comprising PCP Capital Partners and Airbase Sports and Media, the investment group, has completed the acquisition of 100% of Newcastle United Limited and Newcastle United Football Club Limited, Newcastle United or the club, from Street. James Holdings Limited. All requisite approvals have been obtained from the English Premier League and the acquisition was completed on October 7, 2021. The investment group is comprised of long-term, patient investors who have every confidence in the future success of the club. Today's announcement is the conclusion of a thorough and detailed process that has allowed the investment group to arrive at a deal that benefits all stakeholders and will leave Newcastle United well-placed to pursue a clear, long-term strategy. His Excellency Yasir al rumal Governor of PIF, will serve as non-executive chairman of Newcastle United. Amanda Stavely, Chief Executive of PCP Capital Partners, will have one seat on the board. 
Jamie Rubin will also be a director of the club, representing airbase sports and media. For PIF, one of the world's most impactful investors, the acquisition is in line with its strategy of focusing on key sectors including sports and entertainment, and aligns with PIF's mission to actively invest over the long term, in this case, to harness the club's potential and build upon the club's legacy. In addition, Yasir al Rumo, governor of PIF, said, We are extremely proud to become the new owners of Newcastle United, one of the most famous clubs in English football. We thank the Newcastle fans for their tremendously loyal support over the years and we are excited to work together with them. Stavely, Chief Executive Officer of PCP Capital Partners, added, This is a long-term investment. We are excited about the future prospects for Newcastle United. We intend to instill a United philosophy across the club, establish a clear purpose, and help provide leadership that will allow Newcastle United to go on to big achievements over the long term. Our ambition is aligned with the fans, to create a consistently successful team that's regularly competing for major trophies and generates pride across the globe.